In just a few hours, the dress code policy in St. Johns County Schools is up for a vote by the school board. After months and months of controversy that has made national headlines, we keep showing these pictures over and over again. This is pictures of about 80 female students from Bartram Trail who found that their yearbook photos had been altered without their knowledge. So Leah Shields joining us now live from St. Johns County. That was kind of the catalyst for a lot of this, but it's something that's been boiling over. You've been speaking to parents for a long time about this issue. Good morning, Leah. Good morning, Lou. I actually just looked at one of my first stories this morning. I've been covering this now for eight months and here at Bartram Trail High School, this is where students showed up, took their yearbook photos, thought they were in dress code. Months later, more than 80 students seeing those photos and that they were edited like you saw earlier. So today though, change could be happening. This is not what we spent our summer fighting for. Um, Parents and students have been raising concerns over the St. Johns County Schools dress code policy for months. The senior director for school services, Paul Abitanozzi, proposes changes to the policy to make the dress code cover all students instead of separate sections for girls and boys. The words revealing and modest, which were in the previous policy, no longer show up on the proposal. Instead of shorts and skirts no shorter than four inches above the knee, the proposal simply says mid-thigh. In last week's proposal, it said the policy would require a five-inch inseam, which was a problem for Riley O'Keefe's mom, Stephanie Fabry. Nobody should be measuring my daughter's inner thigh. Riley O'Keefe became a voice for the issue when her yearbook photo made international news. 80 students, all female, were surprised to find their photos in the yearbook altered. She, as well as her mom, Fabry, were selected to be a part of the dress code committee formed in June, a committee that never met and never got a say on these changes. And it kind of made us feel like they were saying they were going to do things and not. So when they're acting like they're going to make a better dress code, how, do, how can we put trust in them that they're going to do it and make it better? I checked the agenda just this morning. It does not appear that that new proposed policy plan is uploaded on that site. However, I do have the PDF document and we are going to attach it to the First Coast News story. So we should have that up shortly at firstcoastnews.com. So you can review it before that 9 a.m. vote. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.